Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. I'm going to be making a Miss You card in this video. Now, um, the last video that I did, I kind of wanted to take a poll on how you guys like to see the videos in general, um, you know, from beginning to end, step by step, or um, pre-cut pieces and then putting the card together. Now, I actually started a video um, doing step by step, but um, I cannot use my Big Shot as I'm filming because of the area of my desk, when I'm cranking the Big Shot, it really wiggles around a lot. So um, I went ahead and deleted that first beginning of the video and um, went ahead and cut out this particular die. And then I'll pause the camera and do my Big Shot with these dies. All right, so this is uh, Die Cuts with a View. And I used the Spellbinders die, this one here, the second one in from the largest. and. This one here is really nice if you're doing needing photo mats for a layout because it's a, a six by four and then it trickles down about a quarter inch in size. So we're going to put that one here. Now I want to put, I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Um, I think I'm going to do this flower right here on this paper here and then I'm going to cut it so that it's kind of down the middle of this orange piece here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, get my archival ink and I'm gonna need oh, this should be a good size yeah I'm just gonna use this one here this would be fine this is um, my mind's eye paper this orange paper and I got it out of my scrap bin And I think I'll do it about, I'm just trying to judge. You know what, I'm gonna cut this first. Put the lid on this. Set that aside. Just so that I know exactly how much room I have on that strip that I wanna do, because it's gonna go right down the middle. And I believe, let's take a quick measurement, that this is three inches, three and a half. Okay, so I wanna make this three inches because I just want the edges of this die to stick out like here and here. And then, oh, I want it to go all the way down. So that's a five and a quarter. And then we're done with this. I didn't quite make it to the edge. Set that scrap aside. All right, let's go ahead and re-ink this. And I'm gonna kind of do it, uh, it's gonna be in the middle of the, the strip of paper, but I'm gonna do it up a little bit because I'm gonna put the Miss You Sentiment right there. Try to get it metal too. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out the die for this. This one here. And okay, I'm gonna go to my big shot, cut this out, and I'll be back. All right, so went ahead and cut this out. This is how it looks. I actually picked out the wrong die originally. I picked out this one, but it is is this one here. So I'll put that one back. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to stamp the Miss You. Put my stamp away. And I like to stamp my image first and then die cut it. Um, I just know me. I, I don't measure things and... Um, line up things very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that out and then go to the Big Shot again and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I did that and I apologize about that. Uh, I really did try to, um, you know, use the Big Shot within the video, but uh, it just doesn't work. Just my camera gets all wiggly and everything. So, all right, so there it is. It's cut out and I'm going to go ahead and use my, I believe that's called Spiced Marmalade. 
and I'm going to ink up the edge just a little bit. I do have finger daubers that work really well for small pieces like this, but um, this one was actually handy. So we're going to use this instead. All right, set that aside. I had cut one out and it was crooked, so um, yeah. Practice makes perfect. Oh, you know what? This doesn't have very much on the bottom. Let's go ahead and ink that up a little bit. Great. All right, so let's go ahead and put our cart together for what we have so far. I'm just going to use my Tombow. And this is pretty because it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. And um, it's basil cardstock. It's not die cuts with a view. I think I said die cuts with a view. It's basil. All right, so we have our white background. I'm going to place that on there. Not sure why I'm turning it sideways. I don't usually do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies. All right, great. And then I'm going to put this down flat, but I'm going to pop up this flower. So see how you've got just a little bit here that's going to cover that. It's like that. I think I might want to cut a small slice off of that. I'm going to do not even eighth of an inch. And hopefully my trimmer will do that for me. It's pretty good about it. Yeah, just a small slice. I'm almost thinking I like it if it was down even more so it shows the whole die. So here we go again. This time I'm going to go for the full eighth of an inch. That should do it. Set that aside again. Yeah. Oh, I like that better. Okay, so let's do that. Go ahead and glue this down, making sure it's all on the edges. Thank you all for um, leaving your comments on my last video. Um, I did miss people that um, I actually have been watching their YouTube channels. Um, I did miss them when I mentioned them, so um, thank you again for reminding me about those and then some new ones so appreciate that all right so now I have these um, square foam adhesives that I got at the 99 cent store and I'm going to double this up because I really want this to pop up down on it yet till I have it in that position that I think it should be. There. Look at that dimension. Isn't that cute? Pops way up. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the Miss You right there and I'm not going to put any dimension on it because I want to keep that flower as that dimension focus. Now, I think if I would have done this card over, I would have put maybe like this um, t uh, bluish teal color uh, down as a bottom layer and then the orange and then the pattern paper. But I like the way it is. I'm thinking maybe it needs to be, um, the corners need to be chopped. So let's do that. I'm just not liking the square, the whole square of it. Oh yeah, see already just doing one corner and thinking, yep, I like it better this way. That's what's fun about making cards. You know, you can start out with an idea, um, you know, a base idea and then add to it as you go along. So that is my Miss You card. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.